any card in the deck. Just, just place your finger on the deck. Okay. Take it right out. Look at it. Show it to a few people, and would you place it right back into the deck? Anywhere. No, it doesn't have to go where it came from. You can place it anywhere you yeah, want. Put it right here. Then. Okay. And would you gather up all of the cards? Now, would you give the deck one complete cut? And I think you'll admit there's a fair selection of a card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And give it another cut. Now, would you hold the cards in your hand and deal them onto the table as quick as you can, face up? Isn't this fun? I get, you know, sometimes I get to do this every day, you know. <laughs> when I'm by myself, it's a little awkward, but it, you know, because I know what the card is. Yeah. But it uh, really doesn't matter. Oh, you're doing very well. Stop. What was the name of your card? Jack of Diamonds. You turn over to the next card. Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Robert, I'm going to take the two jacks together, okay. and I'm going to place them somewhere near the center of the deck, okay? okay. Anytime you wish, you just say stop. Stop. Right there. Would you please remember this card? Okay. This time I'd like everybody here to see it. Mm -hmm. Once again, Robert, I'm going to take your card. I'm going to put it out here, but I'm going to show you one more thing, if I may. And you will notice that between your card and the two jacks are four cards. Right. In other words, there are the two jacks, there is your card four cards in between. Now please watch the hands carefully and make sure I do nothing. We have the jack of hearts, the jack of diamonds in your card. Would you please square them all up? Now would you place the deck right here? Now, how many cards between your card and the two jacks? Four. Four. You know, if it's more than ten, this really hurts. But four, it's not too bad. <laughs> Four. That means it's got to go down. Okay, five. Oh, oh dust come out. <laughs> <laughs> if I hit it right, it should have gone down. Oh. Four oh cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and what was the name of your card? The Four of Diamonds. <laughs> Oh, that is, that is incredible. And from these two cards, it got its present name, Blackjack. Now, during the days of the Riverboat Gamblers, they realized anybody could get a blackjack down to the bottom of the deck, which would be any ten or a face card with an ace. Now, because there's only two cards to control, by simply dropping those two cards onto the table first, they realized anybody could keep a blackjack on the bottom of the deck and on the first round made a great deal of money. So for that reason, and many people today don't know where this came from, they decided to reverse the top card to the bottom. Now many people think this is done in order to show when the dealer has run through the deck. No, it was done to stop bottom dealing. You see, if you deal the bottom card, you'll now get the wrong card facing the same way. And that is the reason today that we still burn a card. Gary, how many people in this game of blackjack? Five, six, seven, how many? I'm sorry? How many people in the game of blackjack? Uh, oh, uh, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, of course, as you would realize, I got the jack of spades, but that's only because I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> now, please remember, as the four is reversed, so I can't possibly get the ace of spades. Right. Now, on the second round, all cards are dealt down. So, as I always tell people, if you're going to play blackjack, you must always reverse this card. Nobody can do that, <laughs> and you're going to save yourself a great deal of money. So I'm going to show you how to cheat at cards. But when I do this, I'm going to ask you to promise me just one thing. That if I teach you exactly how to cheat at cards, that you will never, ever use this in the game to make yourself a fortune. You promise? Now, everybody, of course, knows how to cut cards. That's very easy. You just reach over and cut cards like this. I mean, there's, there's really nothing. Well, if you had to get four aces, I mean, you know, that, that's luck, you know. And gambling is a lot of luck. So I don't have to teach you that because it wouldn't do any good because I don't know how I did it. But uh, I'm going to tell you a true story. I may get up as I go along. Uh, last Friday night, I got hustled into a game of poker. You, got, you believe that? You, know, you believe that? And I got a bridge in Brooklyn, and you know the rest of that story. 
Now, it was a Friday night, and I was working late. Because it was late, I was tired. Tired, I was lazy. So, naturally, I used a marked deck. I mean, that's understandable. Now, a marked deck is not like this. A marked deck is simply a deck you can tell each and every card from the back as soon as the most top from the face. Now, if the gentleman to my right cut the cards, because the deck was marked, I have to notice that the ace of spades was on top of the deck, which, of course, is a very good card. Dear, how many people would you like to see in this friendly little game of poker? Let's make it three. Let's make it three. One, two, three. Now, when I went... <laughs> Yeah, well, you didn't think I was going to give the ace space to any one of them <laughs> now, did you? Now, I've been photographed doing this many, many times, and I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. I'm going to stand up so you can see it, and uh, you'll know, you can learn, okay? okay. Now, the ace of space is on, you sure you are you ready? Yes, I yes. am. Yes, you're positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now, you see, the ace, the ace of space is on top of the deck, and all you do is you just you get the idea? Yeah. I'll do it again for you. See, you just reach over, you take them, you see, yeah. now if you speed it up, of course, it starts to look a little bit better. Oh my God. Now, if you slow it down, of course, you can just do it like this so you can see exactly how it's done. Yeah. Ooh, just take the second card. Let me see what that.